Dear students, today's topic is Consumer Protection Act 1986. This is important to mention here that this act is amended in 2000, year 2002 and some important amendments should be studied. As you know, uh, the, uh, the basic aim of this act is to protect the various interest of the consumers. These interests are mentioned in section these rights are mentioned under section 6A to 6F. F. These rights are right to safety, right to information, right to choose, right to be heard, right against exploitation, right to consumer education under section 6A to 6F. This is important to mention here that these are also the objectives of consumer protection councils. Now, to protect the rights of the consumer two steps are mainly taken first is consumer protection councils are established at center state and district level number two consumer dispute redressal commission are set up at district level state level and national level under section 9A, 9B and 9C of Consumer Protection Act 1986. Now we will discuss these two topics in detail in the next lecture. Thank you. As you know, to protect the various interests of the consumers, Consumer Protection Councils are established at central, state and district level. I will discuss the councils under various headings like establishment, composition, meetings of the council and objective of the various councils. Now first is establishment of councils. Central government is empowered to set up the central council. State government is empowered to, to establish the state council by the notification in official budget and District level councils is also established by state government. Next is composition. Composition means what type of members are there in the council. First, minister in charge of consumer affairs is the chairman of the council. Next, such other official and non-official members as prescribed. Next is meetings. Central Council have to hold at least one meeting in a year and State and District Council have to hold two meetings, twice, two meetings in a year. And, and Chairman has the power to hold the meeting. That is, he have to decide the time, place and, and agenda of the meetings. As already mentioned all the objectives of the councils are right to safety, right to information, right to choose, right to be heard, right against exploitation and right of consumer education. These are all the these are all the all the interest of the consumers as achieved by the consumer protection councils. Thank you. So SC Judicial Dispute Settlement Machinery is set up at central level, state level and district level. Now I will explain all these under the various headings like composition, qualification, disqualification, term of office of the members, jurisdiction of the commissions, etc. First is composition, composition of the members. In district forum, two members are there, one is woman and another is man. In case of in case of state commission, two members are there, one is man, other is woman. And in case of natural commission, four members are there, one is woman and other are male. And first member is the person of the 
and first member is judge of the district and in case of uh, state commission first member is judge of the high court and and in case of natural commission first member is judge of the supreme court now term of office of the commission 5 years or up to the age of 65 years for example if a person is of age of 62 years then his period of office is 3 years that is up to the age of 65 years and in case of case of state commission period of office is 5 years and up to the age of 67 years and in this case of natural commission age is 70 years now jurisdiction jurisdiction is of two types pecuniary jurisdiction that is that is relating with the money that is that is relating with the value of the claim where value of the claim does not exceed 20 lakhs then claim should be instituted with the district forum and if the value of the claim is 20 lakh to 1 crore then claim should be instituted with the state forum and if the claim is more than 1 crore then should be with the national commission other is territorial jurisdiction territorial means where the parties voluntarily resides or where the two parties carries on the or their business this is all about consumer dispute redressal commissions thank you members of the members of the commissions are first member is the judge of the district and other two members one is male other is female in case of state commission two members are there one is male other is female and in case of national forum four members are there one is woman and other are males now it is important to mention the qualification of the members in all the commissions qualification and disqualification are the same now qualification the person must be minimum age of 35 years and he or she must possess the bachelor degree from the recognized university and he or she must have the experience of 10 years in the field of commerce law accountancy industry or public affairs thank you